Ty had a hand in your team's first 19 points. Oh. Uh, he's done a lot of good things in this uniform, but where does tonight's performance maybe rank for him? Yeah, I thought we played very well as a team. And, and Ty, you know, when you look at that stat line of 14 points, 12 assists, and he loosened it up early with some of those long threes that we've seen him make over the years. But he really controlled the game well, played hard. And, um, you know, I, I can't say enough about a lot of the guys, the way they played. but. Uh, Virginia Tech puts pressure on you. They really do, and um, we had to play that well. Um, and I know we separate it, but they did miss some shots early, but we played really hard. The atmosphere was incredible, um, but we were so balanced. And I, I really like how Ty shared the ball, but everybody was moving the ball and sharing it because the way Virginia Tech defends, if, if you don't move it, um, they're going to kind of smother you. They're going to jam the lane, and you can't drive. So it's got to be drive, kick, next pass. And we made some good plays. And then, of course, DeAndre was special tonight. Mike. I wanted to ask you about DeAndre and how did his play on the offensive end kind of open up some of those shots that you guys had knocked down? Yeah, no, nah, he was so complete tonight. Um, he, um, you know, he scored in the post. He turned and faced. He drove. Um, he played some three, handled the ball well, played some four or forward spot for us. And I thought his versatility uh, was on full display tonight. And I think Walker's a tremendous player for them. Um, those are two, you know, super sophomores, if you, if you want to say it that way. But uh, I thought Dre really um, was so efficient and worked hard defensively, too. So it wasn't just the offensive performance. It was a complete performance. Uh, could you talk about Kihei getting playing 30 minutes off the bench and yeah. what he did defensively yeah, it was Robinson. Good to, good to get the splint off of his wrist and the cast. He had tape and he had more mobility and he's going to say, that's all I needed, coach. But uh, banging those trees was huge. But his job uh, against Robinson, one of the, you know, the better cards in our league, without a doubt, I've watched his game evolve over his uh, four years. And Kihei, he's just, um, he's got something inside of him. Those of you who've watched us can see that. And he, he won't back down. And he's, he's quick, and he's got a low center of gravity. And that, that uh, bodes well. And he just made you know Justin earn uh, most of the night. Tony, as is, is well as Kyle has been playing lately, he might be tempted maybe to, to force a few. But he just seemed to let everything come to him, especially when, when Beatty was on him so, so much early in the game. Yeah. No, Kyle, he, he lets it come. You want him to be aggressive um, within reason. And I thought, you know, it's a, it's a smart group. And up to this point, we've played smart basketball in terms of sharing it. And Kyle, you know, he can get it going, but he just has a good pace about himself. And that's um, with a guy with his shooting ability, uh, how he how he chooses his moments is impressive. So, um, and I, th I think, you know, everybody shared the ball. And you can tell they have fun playing together. And how could you not in this environment? And um, again, uh, we knew we had to play at a high level to, to be able to do that against Virginia Tech. Coach, that's two top 10 teams that have come in here and gotten thoroughly beaten. What, where, how close are you guys to scratching your ceiling right now? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, the scores and all that are a little overrated. It, it's, we're midway through or wherever we are in the, the season, but you're early in the conference. Um, we've played well. Uh, we've shot it well and played well and defended pretty solid against uh, our two home ACC op uh, games. And, you know, it's your reward for that is you get to go to Duke next. <laughs> and, you know, we, that's the reward. And, um, you know, we're playing at a good level, but uh, I like what I've seen. And it's been different guys at different times. Braxton was so good against Florida State. And this was, a, you know, a great team effort. But um, the league will test you. But uh, obviously, I like how we've, we've withstood so far. Tony, how would you assess three-point field goal shooting defense today, especially against a team that really can make a lot of threes? Uh, yeah, they're fifth in the country or fourth but at 42%. And in the second half, I thought – I always look at it. I don't maybe want – I think they missed some shots, uh, and I say that a lot, but I think they just missed a couple open looks that they normally make. Um, and they had us – I thought in the second half they, they got better looks and they touched our paint a little more. But, um, but I thought it wasn't for a lack of effort. And – and there were really good stretches of defense where we bottled them up, but they, um, they're dangerous. I mean, when they can shoot it at four or five spots, that puts a lot of pressure on you. And that's why Kihei was important in this game, how he you know, did a, a good job on Robinson and kept him, for the most part, out of the paint.
Coach, uh, we, we saw Ty's uh, impact with threes and his impact, impact with assists, but he was also the guy kind of firing up the roster, firing up the bench today. How have you seen him grow as kind of an emotional leader on this team? Yeah, no, Ty is definitely one of our leaders. He's one of the most competitive kids. I mean, everybody's competitive at this level, but Ty is uh, uber competitive, and he's, um, you know, he's just always been like that. And obviously, being an upperclassman, um, he knows what's required. So uh, very fortunate. I actually usually don't catch it, but um, they showed the screen, and I saw Isaiah Wilkins. I heard the crowd roar. And um, you know, been blessed to have guys uh, like him Joe, I can start naming guys. I don't want to leave people out, but that are competitive like that. You have to have that in your team. And uh, I think that sets apart Ty, always has. And uh, I think that's what makes Virginia Tech good. Um, they're very competitive, and they have players like that. That's what Justin Robinson is. So we, we knew it was going to be one of those, and Ty rose to the occasion. Tony, you hear about players being kind of too up for a game, and it seemed like Ty was kind of dancing on that line when this, you know, that first shot he took was probably 25 feet, and he just seemed um, like right. plugged in and right at the right level. Well, I mean, if, if you hadn't seen Ty play before, you'd say, well, I think he was, it was the emotion of the game, but he shoots those. <laughs> we know that. So it wasn't. We talked about uh, emotion um, that really wasn't going to matter. That, that, that can get you for maybe a minute or two. And then it comes down to, do you do well what matters most? And we talked about that. What matters most is getting them in a, all the things, transition defense, bothering their shooters, and running our offense hard so um, they'd have to guard us. We talked about that. That was part of it. But I thought they handled the emotion well. Um, the crowd kind of, you could feel it. But uh, no, I, I thought they had composure. And um, I, I thought they didn't get caught up in this is a rivalry game or it's a top 10 opponent and all that. Yeah, time for three more. Steve. Tony, their, their quickness is obviously yep. a, a, a concern. But you, you used your size fairly well tonight. Did you feel like your, your big guys gave you uh, gave more than gave you an advantage in that regard? Yeah, well, I thought, you know, I talked about DeAndre in the post, his versatility. But, you know, Jack on the glass. Jay gave us a great lift. Um, and Mamadi, at, at times, you know, we actually didn't. Sometimes we'll double the post, but we just tried to use our length and bother because, and we lost them sometimes um, when they threw it in the post. We lost vision of those shooters, but they just flank the court when the ball goes inside to Blackshear. But I thought our length, I, I think, was pretty effective. So I was happy to see that. And again, sometimes bothering shots at the rim and clogging the floor. That's uh, the versatility that this team has. Two more. Mark and then uh, Tony, what did you feel you did better against their defense than when they? Uh, beat you here last year in that overtime game. Yeah, we shot it better. <laughs> that helps. You have to. The way they, honestly, the way they defend and jam the lane, um, I think we shared the ball better. And obviously, we made, you know, we had made some plays, the ball move. But you have to knock down some shots. Like when you're playing against a Syracuse zone or, you know, a good, really tough jam the lane kind of defense, the ball is to move. And you got to you got to knock some of those down to loosen it up. And then when the ball started moving, we got some rotations. And, and then guys made some nice plays attacking and sharing. Coach, um, you know, you've always been a guy that's never looked ahead. And now that you don't have to, are we free to ask about Duke and uh, <laughs> what the challenge is uh, coming up on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's the, the, the beauty of this league in some ways, if you want to say that. But um, every night out, you got to be ready to go. And obviously, some of these guys have played in that atmosphere. And um, they're so talented. I know they were really. I just caught the tail end of their game last night. They were really banged up. I mean, that was a hard, great play by Syracuse, playing by Syracuse. But um, they had a couple guys out. I don't know the status of that. Obviously, we know how good they are. And um, same kind of deal. You just play the possessions and battle and look forward to the challenge.